Hey everybody, this is Coach Richard Wharton at Cycling Center Dallas and Online Bike Coach. And today I'm going to narrate for you an overview of some of the new apps that are available on the Garmin Connect IQ and Garmin Express. We're going to use my Garmin 1000 because it has a nice uh, bright landscape to look at. And we're going to discuss the Baron Biosystems Exert apps. Those are a new method of measuring fitness by looking at the power duration curve in a slightly different way and looking at the maximum power available at any moment of a ride. Uh, the system was developed by a gentleman by the name of Armando Mostracci, and I'm really excited to share some of this information with you. Now we're going to start by looking at the first app, which is on the top half of screen one. And it is the Exert MPA and Power app. The top line titled MPA shows that I've got at any given moment in time right now, 1000 watts of available peak power if I was to basically turn the cranks over and try to uh, basically work as hard as I possibly could. Now, the line below it is a rolling three second average of power and that will change color with intensity. If it's green, I am mostly aerobic and I am sort of uh, concentrated on the fat burning zone. If it's blue, that's more of an assertive aerobic range, and I'm riding a mix of carbs and fat. I interpret blue to mean between my aerobic threshold and my FTP. When it's black, I am riding at or around my threshold. If it's yellow, then this is interesting. We are now looking at a period of time where I can only hold the power seen for a maximum of three minutes. Note that the range of power values that show as yellow will constantly change based on my fatigue. So that's kind of an interesting metric to throw in there. If it is red, then I have less than 30 seconds of maximum power available. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to explain it a little bit more in detail later, but for now, basically green is aerobic, Blue is assertive aerobic. Black is tantamount to threshold intensity. Yellow is going to be your maximum aerobic power or your VO2 max range. And red is highly anaerobic. So think about those, okay? Next, on the second half of the screen, we've got one of my new favorite apps, and that is the Exert Time to Exhaustion and Time to Recovery app. Let's actually skip the 0, 0, 0 area and let's go down and look at the bottom half of this app. What it is saying is this, and, I, and this is all customizable through the Garmin Express uh, software and then it ports into the uh, Garmin 1000 itself. If Richard Wharton were to generate 350 watts of power and stay there, it would take Richard one minute and 36 seconds for the MPA, which you can see in line one at the very top of my screen, to draw down from 1000 watts to 900 watts of available power. So to restate, if Richard is pedaling at 350 watts, that 1,000 watts will start to draw down and the timer will go from 136 to 133 to 129 to 121 to 115 until he reaches 900 watts of maximum power available. Now let's recap. Let me restate it one more time. If Richard is cycling at 350 watts, he has 1 minute and 36 seconds from now until he only has 900 watts of instant power available. Now, let's skip up and look at line 3. That is currently reading 0, 0, 0. 
What that is saying is this. When Richard gets down to 900 watts and then starts to glass pedal and recover, that timer will show. And it will say Richard now has 4 minutes and 46 seconds. If he were to cycle at a recovery wattage of 50 watts to get back up to an MPA of 1000. So the metric here is MPA, line one. We use instant power, which is line two, to affect available MPA. When that number goes down on line four, then we know we're really pushing it. And when that number goes down on line three, we know that we are in recovery. Now the question has been asked, why would I choose 350 watts and why would I choose a 900 watt floor? And here's why. Let's say I am training for a uh, assertive aerobic activity. Not necessarily a crazy hard activity, but something that is going to allow me to stay near my maximum power available, but it will also allow me to cover accelerations over time. I know that I can hold 350 watts. I know that 350 watts is going to be somewhat of a black three second power and or a yellow three second power. And I know that if I go down to 900 watts, the time required to get back up to 1000 watts will be manageable, but it will also allow me to draw down and come back up and draw down and come back up without really tapping deeply into my reserves. You can modify this in any custom measure that you want to achieve the goal that you're looking for. So let's say I wanted to do 420 watts and have a floor of 650 watts of maximum power available. That calculation can be done through the Garmin Express app and all you have to do is just update your Garmin 1000. I always use the 1000 watt recovery just simply because I like to do my intervals at full intensity. You can set that 1000 watt ceiling and change it down to 900 or 800 or whatever number you want. And then you can actually train in a semi-fatigued state. So let's say you want to draw it down to 600 watts of MPA and then bring it back up to 800 watts of MPA. That can be calculated on the screen and it makes training very, very specific. It's a great new tool that's never been shown before it basically tells you when it's time to go and when it's time to back off. We're going to show it in use in just a couple of seconds, but I need you to think about MPA, maximum power available, as the new metric, the new standard for measuring power over any given point in time. Let's watch the MPA app, the rolling three second power as it changes color, the time to exhaustion and the time to recovery in real time using the surrounding sound from an exertion. Ready? Here we go. 